YouTube. This is Darrell. I was surprised when I went to the Revolt Summit in Los Angeles, where it was like a think tank of all the celebrities and people behind the scenes that make productions and things with music and movies. Um, they all kind of came together. It's a Sean Combs event and a lot of creators are there and it's so many creatives trying to soak up any information that they would be able to give you. Because I knew that Kenya Barris did grownish, blackish, mixedish, and a bunch of other shows. I believe he did girlfriends and different things like that. But I didn't know that it was a man. So when the panel was announced, he was on a panel with Chadwick Boseman, China from Black Light. I'm gonna show you a video that I took from that event. This was around October of last year. And it explains Kenya Barris in a way that maybe he is misunderstood. Um, I'll tell you why I'm gonna show the video because the things that he was saying was very helpful to most, mostly black and brown creators. Um, that were listening. It was hundreds of people there. Um, it explains his train of thought, how he thinks about certain things, and you can decide what you want. So I'm going to play the video right now, and then I'm going to come back. Then I'll let you know the rest. This is you never expect. And write about your life. Write about your life. I think that even if it's not your story, I got my daughter's in NYU right now, and she wants to come home. And I'm like, no, school is not just about school. School is about growing up and about living life so that you have something to experience to write about. And I feel like, you know, I was talking to some writer talking about a movie in space. You know, he's like, I've never been in space, but I've been in love. You know, and he's like, that. I can take that story and translate it to a story. So I think write, write about your life, write what you know, live life. You know, know that your story is special and everybody's story is special. It's just how you choose what glass at the prison and what angle you choose to see your story. It's really, especially my kids, I owe everything to. Like everything I've done in some aspects is a version of them. You know what I'm saying? And I, so being a father for me has been the, you know, the biggest gift, but I got to sort of retell my life in those stories. Okay, now that you've seen the video, all right, the big controversy is now. Is there a, a light skin agenda? I've seen about five to six videos already and there's so many mounting about the show that Kenya Barris created called Black AF or Black as Fuck. All right, I saw the show, I saw about seven episodes already. I have to kind of go back through a couple of episodes. So I see most of it, which was more than what other content creators actually saw. Some of them only saw one episode or two episodes, but I want to talk about it from my perspective. I think that Kenya Barris is misunderstood. Um, he has a light skin cast, mostly mixed or racially ambiguous. I can see why that's really making people put off by it. But also, he had, he created a title called Black AF. You think it would be more black, and it just is not. It's a mockumentary. But the funny thing is, is that if this was an all white cast, it would work a lot better because it has the modern family, community, um, parks and recreation type of feel to it. Um, being that he has a majority light-skinned cast and his wife is played by Rashida Jones, which I didn't know she was black until I looked really hard to see her tint be a light, like a, a real, real light. And then I found out that she's the daughter of Quincy Jones, so she's half white and half black. All right, so I heard that she was in charge of the casting and she is a, a integral part of the creation of the show as well. So you have two creatives, Kenya Bears and Rashida Jones, who are the co-stars of this show that shows an affluent black family who is over the top in terms of their presence. I feel like they were trying to give me married with children as well, um, uh, kind of I don't care attitude that usually plays well for white actors in shows like that. 
But the problem with this is that this is a another Kenya Barris show that has so many light-skinned people in it. And the jokes come off a little off-putting because at this point, after Blackish, Blackish was um, a, is a great show. Um, it has the right set and the right tone for things that they want to discuss, black-related and teachable moments. But then you have shows like Mix This, which was a confusing show. I like Grownish. However, Grownish is confusing to a lot of people. Is this a black college or is this a white college? Is this trying to be like a different world? I did a video about a character that um, one of the twins were dating and he uh, he came off in terms of on the episode as the white guy, but he's obviously not white. He's a light-skinned black guy or he's mixed, half black, half white, or he's mixed with Hispanic, black. It could be a different combination, but he definitely was not white, but the the episode played it as if he was a lily white guy, which confused me, because I woke up and I'm like, what is this? So I made a video, and that was my first grownish video, so you can go back through my selections and watch that video, but it is causing confusion because we don't know which way Kenya Barris is going to go. Um, there is definitely a need for darker skin representation. It's very important. There is a lot of mixed racially ambiguous people. But the difference is if he's running all the shows, he just got a $100 million deal at Netflix, he's going to give us more of this. So this is where it seems like there's a disconnect with Netflix and Kenya Bears because what it was is that it seemed like he resold the other shows, Mixed This Black Is Grown This, to Netflix for a version, but it seemed like Netflix said, I want a version of those shows you already did for ABC. And the problem with that is Netflix not knowing that or caring that it would create another issue with the show even though the show is getting a lot of attention because of the name black as fuck it really is has something to do with the fully almost black white casting or the whitish casting and the problem with that is that the network didn't seem to care if darker skinned people would be fed up or they would be a, enough is enough because it only seems to be a way to sell a black show nowadays. And it seems like Kenya Barris is selling a black show and they're accepting of this version of a black show. But when you call a show called Black as Fuck, you would expect to have more lineages, um, more black themes, um, darker skinned black people. Darker skinned black people have money too. There are some that do. And if you're going to do an affluent black family, show a wider representation at this point. You already got the other shows that is mostly all light skinned or half white. Give us some variety within the black culture because it seems to me that if this was an all dark skinned cast, it, Hollywood would not have bought it. It, they wouldn't have sold this show. He wouldn't have been able to sell his shows if they were all black cast. So is it acceptable only in Hollywood to have mixed to light skin black people in roles on black led shows? I don't know. But it seems like it is. Um, colorism is real. We don't know if Kenya Barris has a colorism issue within his own writing. Um, because he's writing and getting a lion's share of the ideas that can, you know, come out because he has the deals. But when you think of other shows in the 90s like Living Single and Martin and those had a lot of darker skin characters that were really play well to audiences on TV, giving them good ratings and having longer runs of shows like four to five years at a time, which is good for a black sitcom. Um, the problem that this show has that I think it really comes down to the title. Um, you might not have cared or noticed that with so many light skinned characters in this, this show, if 
this show was actually super funny and it actually was super great. Um, it's only great if you think of it as a modern family, but to see black and biracial black kids do and say things that seem quote unquote black or blacker, that does not play well when you're doing a mockumentary, which what this show is. This is a mockumentary. This is not a regular, you know, just it's Kenya Barris' life. He has versions of his life on every show. Um, that's why I showed you the video. And I wanted you to also, to be fair, is to show that he did reach out to help black people with his advice and things that he can help um, inspire people in a summit. Um, that the, I just don't want it to be like Kenya Bears is a colorist. Kenya Bears does not like dark skinned people because I have proof that he does have some kind of interaction with the betterment of black people. Um, the the way that I see it, I see that Kenya Bears has a particular writing style, but this is good that it might have happened this backlash because he's getting a heavy amount of backlash from black people. Um, he needs this because his other shows that he's going to develop, he got that $100 million deal from, from Netflix. He will then maybe open his eyes to create more visibility for darker skinned black people because the only problem that that's being created through Kenya Barris's version of black as fuck through the eyes of mixed and light-skinned blacks the problem is now is starting that i don't want to see light-skinned black people i don't want to see mixed black people i only i, I want to see dark-skinned black people to the point where it creates a colorism issue like black dark-skinned blacks against the light-skinned blacks and that's what this conversation is starting and is not supposed to go backwards so what the problem with uh, black as fuck did it created a new dialogue that actually set us back and it seems like through the show it makes fun of us Rashida Jones in a daishiki hat is okay if the show was not called black as fuck it's almost like you can be the wokest light-skinned person. You can be a Jesse Williams and speak some real facts. But it, it creates a negativity if the show is mocking black culture and what we do and how we do it. But it's only being shown through the lens of comedy in a way that's not particularly fully truthful. And it allows other races to see us a certain way that reinforces stereotypes. This would only work if this was a white cast. I get what he's doing. I get the idea of the show. And inherently the idea of the show is a good idea for the show. But the casting is wrong. The title is wrong. It could be rich as fuck. It could be wild as fuck. It could be something different. Wouldn't have brought all this attention. A combination of the name black as fuck. Racially ambiguous cast. White or half white or mixed cast. They still black. But then it becomes light skin versus dark skin. Why do you only want light skins? Now that becomes the issue and the point of conversation, which takes away from the show. But the show still did not deliver enough to make people like it in spite of all those differences that need to be changed in the show. It wasn't a, a excellent show to the point where you did not care or you lim limited your viewpoint about the negativity you feel about a show like that. It wasn't good enough to bridge the gap between the stereotypes, the idea of the mockumentary, the light skin, half white or and racially ambiguous family in the 21st century living their best lives in their nice houses and their nice cars. It basically was the idea that black people at this point, after three or four shows like this, will not accept. Black is just fine. That's the premium standard of the quality of what he could do. But then you have Gronish. I like Gronish, but it's, it's a little watered down in certain topics and whatnot. 
mixed this. I don't think you need mixed this when you have blackish already because the cast is almost similar. Um, I think that Kenya Barris needs to see the response to this. So in his next shows, or if this show is renewed, they could change a lot of things about it because it's very hard for me to see, even though I've seen light skinned mothers in the roles of, uh, of the sitcom, the problem I see, I don't believe even, even uh, Tisha Campbell was a lot darker and more ethnically black um, in Martin. When you see Rashida Jones, I have to squint to see that she's black, uh, at least black, to say certain things or do th certain things that the character is supposed to do. But the problem I have is that it just does not look right and you have to get adjusted to it every time there's a joke or every time there's a stunt on the show you still got to readjust and the problem is the thought of them being not fully black or black enough or dark enough comes out and it it creates a question in the mind while you're watching which distracts you from the joke the show is supposed to be as is, funny, the jokes pour out, we laugh, that's it. But if you got to think about, okay, I was laughing, but why are you doing that? Are you making fun of us? It creates negative questions that should not be created. And all they had to do was just look at the title. Netflix should have been more in touch with the audience versus just shoving another black show, but not looking at Wait, is there somebody in the Netflix offices? That's why we need representation, people of color, so they can say, hey, 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 Kenya, you already got the three shows with all mixed cast. You need to try something new. Get some dark people or even the playing field. Let's get some darker skinned actors in the mix so it will be a balance like the Cosby Show. Cosby Show, you have Vanessa, you had Theo, you had Rudy, the three dark skinned Cosby kids, and then you had Sandra and Denise. So your only question at that time, being that Bill Cosby and Claire Huxtable were black, you looked at them, um, Sandra, Elvin, and you looked at uh, you looked at Denise as sometimes wait they don't belong in that family they don't they're a little too half white but then he balanced it out with the grandfather who was really light skinned um, then you had his grandmother who was a brown skinned lady so it kind of balanced out the 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 generation because he brought the generations into it. The, the first, second, and third generations into a show so you can see a full color of family within their drama and their really, their funny moments and things. But Black as Fuck doesn't really explain it and is not apologetic for the statement that it's making. So it makes black people that look at it seem like Kenya Barris is using the black experience and capitalizing off the black experience. However, he might not be. I don't believe he is. But that's what it looks like with a fourth show that's identical in casting from his other shows, which I don't think that he thought that this might be enough right now. I might have enough of that. Let me, if I want to do black experience, let me add some real dark-skinned black people in the mix so we can kind of see their size. And when they actually say the jokes, they would actually land better because it's not watered down. So you see what I'm saying? So I hope you like this video. I'm passionate about this. I didn't want Kenya Barris to be looked at as a colorist, someone that doesn't like dark skinned people because it's deeper than that. Um, I have a book called The Brown Paper Bag Boys and the Colorism Experiment. And that's another reason. I wrote a book called The Brown Paper Bag Boys and the Colorism Experiment, as well as a book called Scare of the Light in My Mission to Be the Black J.K. Rowlands or Black Stephen King. Um, that will have about seven books to it and I have other books coming out, but you can purchase my books now at Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, as well as go to my website, ScareTheLight.com. 
Follow me on social media in my description. If you like this video and you like what I'm saying, you feel me, feel free to please subscribe and I will be so happy and like the video because I have a lot of topics like this and definitely we want to get deeper into a subject versus a surface level feeling, the surface level feeling. Um, so you let me know, is Kenya Barris misunderstood? Again, my name is Darrell. I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.